I think that this, this community thought that we could not stay for so long in this area. They thought that we could stay for a short time, then get our own houses or else go back to the place we had come from. If one recalls what had happened to him or her, due to that fear of what had happened, we just choose to stay here. During post-selection violence, our village was surrounded by attackers. They burned down all houses. My two brothers, who assisted me a lot, died during that time. So I was left with nothing. At this point, I had no hope for future. I could not think of anywhere to go. I could not think of anything beyond that situation. We requested the local community those who are willing to volunteer themselves, whether they can assist the one whom we shall bring to give them some shelters. And almost 90% 90, 90 of them were willing. I had identified 50 families, but they didn't know the, whom to host but they were willing now, whoever comes, regardless the tribe or whatever, but he's a human being. This community felt mercy on us. When this community came to pick us from that area is when now I felt relieved. I told my wife and children, let us go and let us not mind wherever to be taken, let us go. In this community, there are about 700 IDPs. And these IDPs have problems of houses. So they are forced by circumstances to live in the houses of other people. We face that problem of getting labor. So even if you are given a job to do, told to do that job for 200 shillings, you will do it. If you fail to do that job, you cannot go anywhere. You will still do it. Also, there is this problem of education for the children. As a result of moving from one house to another, this affects children very much. The future of the children depends on the status of the parent. Because now I have, I have no money to fund for the learning of my children, this will affect their future. The dreams of my children the elder one who is in secondary school told me that she expects to be a surgeon. I told her to put more effort on learning so that her dreams might come true. 